Hey guys, it's been a crazy ass week for me. Uh, <laughs> um, I kind of quit Derby. Uh, let me start from the start, okay. So, two, two girls split off from my team and create a new league. Everyone on my team seemed to be a bit, oh my God, about this. But because I've been away for the last six months, it's kind of been like whatever for me. I really didn't mind that I split from Crow their own league. I was a bit like, my state doesn't really need another league, but you know, whatever. And then I heard that supposedly they were giving um, grief to my ex-Derby wife. And I was like, this is a bit uncalled for. My Derby wife had been going through a whole bunch of crap and I just felt like this was the last thing she needed. So, because I'm not very good with the mouth words, I thought I would ask you guys, how do you deal with derby drama? I think my post was something like, two girls left my team, started a new league, this has left the vortex of drama. What do you do? Do you, do you smack that bitch? Do you get on your soapbox? Do you leave it alone? So my comments were designed to get responses from people and the two girls who had gone off and created their own League took offence to my comments thinking that I wanted to beat them up or something, which is totally not the case. They then sent me an email basically lifetime banning me from their shiny new league. So that means in my derby life of one and a half years, I've managed to be lifetime banned from one league and I've pissed off the president of the other league. So I think I'm doing pretty good for myself. So basically my league, my league asked me to take the post down my ex Debbie wife asked me to take the post down and I was feeling really, really pissed off because I should be able to say whatever the hell I goddamn want on my own freaking blog. Freedom of speech, people, for frick's sake. Apparently, you can't play a derby and say what you want at the same time. So, after all this drama happened and I got the notice from the new league saying that I was lifetime banned, I didn't really take it very well. I don't do very well with emotional conflict. I can totally do the physical stuff because that's why I did martial arts for so long and I didn't understand why I liked it so much. It's because I like using my body for conflict because there's no you know nasty words you can use that can hurt you later and so yeah I, I really I took it really badly and it was kind of like one of a long list of things that have sort of irked me about Derby about the drama side of things. I mean, the politics I can handle, it's just the drama is like nothing I've ever experienced in any other sport. So the thought of going back to training, I really, I didn't want to go back. I wanted to avoid it. And I think I figured out from that that I'd lost my derby mojo. I lost the will to play derby. I still love the sport, don't get me wrong. I love derby, but I just don't want to play it right now. I'm not in a good place. But the plus side of me leaving Derby as a player and leaving my league is I'm now a leagueless. So it means I can say whatever the hell I want on my blog and no one can tell me I have to remove it or take it down because it's reflecting badly on their league. Fuck yeah. So I hope this is going to be the start of something where I can start to open the lid on some Derby issues and we can learn and grow together. So what the hell am I doing now? Well, I'm going to join the guys um, at my local roller hockey. They've been so nice to me. They're like, you come down anytime you want, Celtie, and they let me come in their practices, and they're really nice. And at least I'll still be skating, and I can pick up some awesome agility skills from them. Have you seen those guys skate? They're like backwards and forwards. Their agility is awesome. I love it. So I'll be doing that and skating outside like I am today. I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent me emails and sent me messages saying, you know, soldier on, Celtie, and you'll be all right. And, I really appreciate that guys because it really helped me. Um, I think after I decided to leave Derby, I was mega depressed for three days straight. I was bitchy at the kids and I was snappy at my husband and I ate so much chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, I was, I was really sad. I was like in Derby morning, um, but I got over it and it was your messages of, of like, you know, it was your positive messages that really helped me out. So thanks guys a lot. And for now, I will soldier on and fight the good fight and skate and then put this camera down because it's friggin' hurting my arm. I love you guys. Bye.